Gold Coast. Right, we decided to take a trip down onto Croyd Beach to check out all the other activities we've got going. Beach volleyball and beach football taking place. I understand there's a chance for locals and people getting into the sport to play with uh, Olympians like yourself. Yeah, I set up my own academy of beach sports, so I'm, I teach people how to um, become beach volleyball coaches. I'm also working with the Beach Soccer Association in coach development for beach soccer and in foot volley and also with the Handball Association we're going to be working here as well. So I do all, all beach sports. Down on the beach the teams limber up and get used to the sand underfoot in Croyd Bay on the only beach in the country to host permanent posts for what is fast becoming one of the new emerging beach sports in the country. Tournament rules are explained to an eager field of 16 teams from all over the country with fair play emphasised as the essence of the game. So with gentle offshores wafting through the dunes, the early rounds get underway. Now it's definitely not playing on grass, the tricky conditions making it difficult. With intermittent, decent play, the players finding their feet. The officials definitely need to keep an eye on proceedings as tempos increase. Certain players needing other tactics to get through. Emerging local team, the challenge has conceded a free kick here. With an unlucky miss from their rivals, the chances see themselves through to the semis. Meanwhile, new to the Ocean Fest this year and brought to you by Corona Extra, the first women's beach soccer tournament. Kicked off in blazing sunshine, shining themselves, the girls showed some silky skills and deft touches. Lovely goal there, and as the day unfolded, a wonderfully high standard of play. Oh, what an awesome save there. Tough at times, difficult, but how well the sand legs played in the first ever Corona final at Gold Coast. And in spite of that goal right there, coming up short against the Bulldogs. Freud home to the only permanent beach volleyball and soccer course in the country. So it's only right that we're pushing such a new sport in the form of these girls playing soccer on the beach down here in North Devon. Each of them getting a lovely pair of designer flip flops. Another round of applause for the two teams we have on stage, the Sexy Chicks and the Sand Legs. Now it's just time for the victors, rounding off this first presentation. Let's have a little bit of a tonsil raffle for our winners of the Corona Women's Beach Soccer Grand Prix, the British Bulldogs. Down on the pitch, the Corona Extra Beach Football Final between the Med Office Galacticos and the local team, the Norfolk Chargers, gets underway with some early action. An awesome save there from Harding in the frame from early on in the first half. Both teams battling out for the crown, making early chances. Awesome shot there, but an even better save from Harding. The Galacticos from Exeter take the lead in the first half with this goal netted by David Cairns. The second half moves along fast with another girl for the Mets, Martin Douglas slotting in off the cross from Ross McLaren, assisted by Gary McKelvey. Straight back in the thick of the action and the chances have everything to play for. Jay Crush coming close, testing Damian Boyd in the Galacticus goal. The game is beginning to reach fever pitch. This time Shane Tolley is thwarted by the Mets brave keeper until... At last a breakthrough. Dodge halves the difference with a goal for the Norfolk chances. It is 2-1 and we're nearing the end of the match. A corner for the chances taken by Dodge. It's flicked on. And then Leyland scores. Ben Leyland with the equaliser in the dying minutes of the game. The referee, Mr. Nick Williams from Broughton, has called time and so it's on to sudden death penalties. The Galacticos draw first and Ross McLaren steps up with a cool delivery well taken. Med Office one up at this stage. Jake Crush brings it back. Gary McKelvey goes right. Leyland puts it bottom left. Martin Douglas, top right. Adam Cornish left foot and off the post. And that's it, the chances are out. What an incredible finish to the event here at Gold Coast, which means... Thank you.
first place at the Korea Beach Soccer Contest here at Gold Coast. The Met offers the Lanticosk. 